Hi guys, welcome back to the channel Wherever We Wander. Join us today as we take you on a journey through the Yorkshire Dales to show you 10 must-see waterfalls that you can't miss out of your 2023 adventures. And first up on the list has got to be Cauldron Falls. This is a really easy one to get to. Once you park in West Burton, um, you go down to the bottom of the village and in a tight little corner, you walk by some houses and here you are, you'll see it straight away. And it's just a nice little walk beside the river all the way down to the waterfall. Bear in mind, these waterfalls do look different depending on the time of year you come to see them. This was after quite a lot of rain, probably about a week's worth. But this is a really popular swim spot as well, so be sure to bring your swimming costume if you're that way inclined. Waterfall number two is Wainworth Force on the River Swale. This one has parking right beside it on the roadside and you can walk down all the way down the river and there's a lovely succession of little waterfalls as you can see here and you can see all the way down the river too. Again this will look different depending on what time of year you arrive. Waterfall number three isn't far down the river from the last one. Still on the river swale and this one's called East Gill Force. As you walk up, there's, again, there's another succession of waterfalls and at the top, where the main waterfall is, there's a lovely little grass area where you can have a little picnic too. This one's a lovely one to come and see and it's nestled quite far down so it does take a little bit of a walk to get to, but it's worth it. This one is quite a popular swim spot too, so bring your swimming costume for this one and there's a few ropes you can swing off and it's quite deep and it's a long part of the river as well to enjoy. Number five on the list we have Janet's Foss. Now I can't miss this one out and this is part of a circular walk around Malham Cove and Gordale Scar. If you park up in Malham Cove car park you can start the circular walk there and end up there too. We did this one in the winter and it was a lovely walk and the waterfalls were really full at this point but they can be a lot smaller than this. Carrying on the same loop here we are heading to Gordale Scar and this is not one to be missed. It's such an amazing sight when you head around this corner. Just look at it. Again, this was winter, so it was really, really windy here, but the waterfall was super full. Now, in the summer, when the waterfall is quite low, you can actually climb up here and head to the top part of the waterfall, which must be really cool. I'm going to do that myself in summer sometime. Let us know in the comments if you've ever climbed this one and was it worth the view at the top? Number seven on the list, we have Scalibur Force. This one again is right beside the road. You'll have to try and find yourself a spot because it is a narrow type of road. But once you find that spot, you'll be able to get out and find this with ease. If you come in autumn like we did, there is a bit of a slippy path down with some stone steps. Just watch yourself down these. It's totally worth heading to the bottom though because the waterfall looks so much bigger than what it did at the top. Next up we have Stainforth Foss. In the little village just up this road there's a car park. Now you're better off leaving the car there because the bridge to get over there is really really narrow and just walk down instead. Again this is a popular swim spot and it's also a fishing spot so just be aware of that when you come here and uh, there might be a lot of people one day and there might be fishermen other times. It was quiet when we were here this day though. I think out of all the waterfalls this is possibly my favourite on the list. 
This one is Cotter Force and the parking is really accessible just on a little layby beside the road and it's only a half a mile walk to get here. Now if you want to see further up the river you can actually carry on walking and as you can see there's more waterfalls to be seen further up. Now I would totally recommend doing that, it's worth seeing all of these as well. And this was the one right at the top that we walked to, kind of similar to Cotter Force. But we came here for the main event which was to swim at Cotter Force. I would totally recommend this while you're here. And last but not least, we have Hell Gill Force. This was a little tricky to get down, you have to negotiate your way down, especially if it's a bit boggy, it can be really wet down here, so just watch yourself on the way down. It's worth getting down though, because once here, look at the views. And it's quite a good swim spot as well, so get yourself a swimming costume or a wetsuit on and get yourself in there. Watch out though, it can be quite slippy. <laughs> if you like this video and are going to visit some of these waterfalls, please consider liking and subscribing to see more in the future. For more information, postcodes and advice on these spots, please head over to our Patreon because I'll give more in-depth information over there to help you all. Thanks for watching, see you on the next video.